Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is going to be by Jasper Vlog, as I'm sure you can tell by the title. So we are starting off this morning in Pato Lake. We're on the road from Canmore. We just left Canmore this morning and we're on our way to Jasper. There's 86 fires burning in Alberta right now, so the air quality is terrible. Um, and obviously it's just really upsetting to hear that there are so many wildfires already and it's only May. So we're mid-May right now and a lot of them were deliberately lit as well. So it just makes me really upset and it's very disappointing to hear that there are people out there who would do such a thing. Um, but it's very smoky. Um, so I'm like puffed from a small walk already. But anyway, it's uh, from the car park to the viewpoint. It is 600 meters, really clear easy trail there's a bit of a hill though but it's you know accessible for most people again like there's another hill it is very steep and not super accessible in that regard but it's not like it's a hard trail and they said it would be 30 minute return and now i can see why if you are you know elderly or have something that prevents you from walking super well. So we are in Jasper for three nights and I have a friend who I met in Vancouver who lives in Jasper, Madison. So very excited to see her tomorrow. And we have a wildlife tour as well that's booked for tomorrow evening with sun dog tours that I'm really excited about. So I'll take you guys along for that. And I hope you enjoy the vlog. Do. I don't know. Okay, he's got a tag thing. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see. So we made it to Jasper. We just had uh, brunch slash lunch at uh, Sun House Cafe, which is Australian owned. Let's go quickly go across the street. I'm going back to the car because it was only a two hour limit at our spot. So mom can't walk super fast. So I'm just going down Patricia Street, which I guess is one of the main drags. Um, and I saw Madison who was at work. So we popped in to say hi, which is lovely. And she recommended that we go to the information center, which was amazing. I just learned so many fun facts about some animals around the park. And I got some really good advice from a couple of the guys that uh, from there. Yeah, so I definitely recommend going to speak to them because the smoke and the haze is so bad. We're kind of looking for suggestions on activities that we could do away from the smoke and sort of get a bit of a, a weather update. So yeah, the guys in there were so helpful. I don't know their names, but if you go into the information center up to the desk and just ask anything, I'm sure they'll know the answer because we just, I mean, I just learned so much about elk and bighorn sheep and things like that. So yeah, loved it. Um, so yeah, going back to the car now and then I think we're gonna go to Moline Canyon because we're gonna be looking down and it's not gonna be as, I guess the smoke isn't really gonna affect the view because the view is looking down, not up. But yeah, we can't see really anything. There's no blue sky. It's just, yeah, Madison was saying that she's never had smoke this bad while living in Jasper. It's really, really hard to breathe and eyes stinging, coughing, all that fun stuff. So yeah, it's supposed to clear tomorrow, which is, you yeah, know, lucky for us, but 25,000 people have already evacuated between here and Edmonton, which is just awful. So 
currently in the in the midst of it but um yeah i'll take you guys along to the canyon but i definitely recommend sunhouse cafe for the food the food was incredible but oh yeah nearly at the car now so i'll talk to you guys later there's the front of the information center there definitely check it out it was so helpful i loved them so much look how bad the smoke is this is like the main I guess street as you come into town and there's the train station just there we just stopped at the washroom but oh my gosh the smoke and if you see a field of these there's probably bears close by the guy said that the black bears love dandelions it's their favorite snack so we've arrived at Moline Canyon it's honestly like a quick four minute walk to the second bridge I believe uh, which is great if you have issues with walking or you're short on time you can go and see the canyon like I went saw how far it was went back to the car in like four minutes because I kind of jogged but it gives like my mum has just had heart surgery so um, and has neuropathy in her legs and things like that so she really can't do too much um, of you know too much walking or anything like that for her health so it is um, sometimes a struggle in Canada to find things that are quite easy for people to do nature wise so this is a good one and it's all flat there's railing definitely recommend a lot less distance than this morning at Peto Lake Peto Lake um, but I was gonna mention as well we saw a bear on the highway and the guys at the information center said that the collar and the tag were quite old so the bear might be quite old um, but it was quite rare for a bear to be spotted so close to the road but I really hope he's okay there was a park ranger coming in as we were driving I saw one coming in which makes me feel better because I really hope that no one got out of the car no one fed the bears because the more that you're around them the more they get used to people the more they can react in the fall when they're getting ready to hibernate and then then as soon as a bear attacks a human they get put down and that would suck so anyway seeing a bear was magical but really hope that he went back into the woods on his merry way and uh, no one got out of their vehicle. But anyway, here is the canyon. And under the stars, you pack up your car, cause you're going far away from here. Mm -hmm. I wish I could stall, but I never call, and you're going. having dinner at Folding Mountain Brewery and I thought I would try a flight. It's been a while since I've been to a good brewery like this so it may as well. So we've got the Cranberry Sour, then they want me to go to the Day Away XPA, the Park Parkway Porter and then the Hazy IPA and that's the order that they want me to go in clockwise. And then this cute little tray and then that has what I ordered and then mum got a Caesar. She's been loving the Caesars and then dad got the Folding Mountain Lager. So I'll try that and then I would have tried five beers because I got a different one. <laughs> Mum, you should have a sip of the Caesar and you can give it a review. Here we go. First taste. In like five out of five? Close? Very close. Okay, Dad. Time to try the lager. Bottoms up. Smooth. <laughs> and the place is really aesthetically pleasing as well. It um, was opened in 2017, so fairly new. So cute, and they've got games just there, and lots of parking. And just four minutes from our stay. Woohoo! Yum!
on some light reading, Dad? first time I've spoken to the camera today so happy Wednesday it's a bit late it's like four o'clock um, but yeah I thought I would tell you about what I did this morning we woke up late at like nine ish and then we just hung around the overlander which is where we're staying which is about 40 minutes out of town and unfortunately it's very smoky still they did say that the wind would change and maybe it wouldn't be so smoky but the air quality is the worst it could be, literally. And there's a big warning out, so I'm not, like I'm struggling to breathe and my eyes are watering and stuff like that. And it's very windy, but it's a northerly wind, I think. So it's just pushing the smoke towards us because there's, yeah, I already told you guys about all the fires that are burning. So really unfortunate for everyone involved. Um, we're just trying to make the most of our time here in Jasper because, you know, what else can we do? Yeah, so then we met Madison, my friend, or Mads. Uh, we met her at 12 at Jasper Brewing Co., which is where her hobby works. And wow, the food is amazing. I had this like halloumi bowl and I had a chicken and it was so good. And mum and dad both had salads and they loved theirs as well. And then, yeah, it was just so great catching up and... Yeah, having Mads make my appearance is so cute and I'm just glad I got to have that time with her and yeah, and she brought her beautiful dog Bailey, so shout out to Bailey, now a VIP on the vlog. I wanted to get some steps in even though it's really, really awful weather outside. I just, yeah, there's not too much to do or see unfortunately, like all the things I want to do are hikes with viewpoints and beautiful lakes of the mountains but you honestly can't see any mountains you can barely see the little mound behind me it's really really smoky maybe worse than yesterday so we have one more day tomorrow so maybe maybe we'll get lucky um, but it's just super unfortunate that we can't see how beautiful Jasper is so we got a lot of postcards we went to a couple of tourist shops after seeing Mads because she had to go to work and then we just had coffee and the coffee was amazing. I had an iced Americano with a pump of vanilla and it was a really good coffee. Loved the cafe. It was huge and they're very industrial, like new, modern, good music, good energy. And now mum and dad are just keeping it close to town and I thought I would go have a look at like the houses around and just do a kind of walk by myself um, just to see a little bit more of the town I guess before we have our wildlife to us so we've uh, seen where we're getting picked up right outside the front of Sundog and yeah that starts at 5 30 so we've got another hour and a half to kill I mean it's a Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m maybe everyone's still at work I don't know I will show you a little bit more of the town maybe in a montage and then hopefully um, I will see some wildlife soon um, also I saw some big horn sheep on the way, so I will insert a clip now. Look how awesome these guys are. So they're on the side of the highway and the cars were going so fast next to them. So hopefully they're okay. They seemed like very comfortable with the highway, but no trucks were slowing down. Cars were, but the big semi-trailers weren't. So anyway, um, it was really cool to see them. Uh, still haven't seen a moose or a grizzly, so I would love to see one of those, but it is really hot and it's smoking from the fires, so who knows what we'll see, but I'm excited to see any wildlife at this point. I love seeing all the wildlife around Jasper and Banff and everything like that. It's been great. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and public vlogging and I will show you guys the rest of the town. So the main town is over there, and if you just go up Hazel Avenue, there's some RV parking. And you can park your car in here for free. Just as long as you have your park pass, you can park here for free as long as you like. And the Home Depot is just over there. Life hack.
It's looking right at us. Yeah, yeah, I've got him. So they're just like regular squirrels without the big bushy tail and they live under the... Oh, look at it go! areas they need to make sure that that water is deep enough so it doesn't freeze to the bottom because they do not hibernate they're still uh, active not like as active but they're still active in the winter and they still swim underneath the ice and stuff so they have to make sure that the water is deep enough um, so they obviously flood things um, if they're flooding your property you're not going to be a fan However, I cannot overstate the importance of beavers in the ecosystems that they naturally belong in. They are creating ecosystems for more than 200 other species of life uh, that, that, that depend on what the beavers do, right?
everyone and happy Thursday. It is still very smoky here in Jasper. So this morning we went out to Pyramid Beach and then Pyramid Island, which we were, I guess, recommended to do by Steve. The wildlife tour last night was incredible and Steve was our tour guide and that was his recommendation. If it was clearer, it's obviously not very clear. You would have just seen the footage, like there's no mountains. You're, when you go to Pyramid, island you're surrounded by mountains but not the case it was still really beautiful though and now we are at Athabasca Falls which was another recommendation and it's quite easy for mum to get around here it's very accessible and the falls are literally there it's like a two minute walk yeah they're going down like crazy and you can just maybe see a mountain there very unfortunate, but I don't think this is going to be the last time I come to Jasper. I really want to come back again and redo the Columbia ice fields and do that whole, I guess, this part of the trip again because it was just beautiful until the day that we started driving here. The smoke changed, so it just it, it is what it is. But anyway, we had a beautiful brunch just then at Harvest. I really recommend the coffee was amazing and the staff were really lovely. I think the food was better at Sunhouse, but I still think that Harvest was great. Maybe like more options for people as well, a bit more mm, potentially family friendly because there's a lot more food options, whereas the Sunhouse only had a few that may be a bit more out there for people's palates. I don't know, but I think the food was better at Sunhouse, but I don't know. The coffee was great at both, but anyway, two different places, two different experiences, but I'm loving the food in Jasper. It's been really, really yum so far. Um, so yeah, it's just like one o'clock right now. It's still very, very quiet. Like no one's here because the smoke has driven tourists away, to be honest. But um, yeah, the wildlife tour last night was incredible. I'll probably talk about it a little bit later. But for now, let's go check out the falls. So much water. I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move And I go back to my dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when It's daylight now and I'm stuck in my bed Daylight now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been just not all on my own And I should make my way out of my home It's daylight now, gotta open my eyes <gasps> Look, look! Yes! Maybe uh, Hi! Oh my god, this! <laughs> come on, come on Oh my They're fighting They're kissing That's so funny. I can see. Good shot. Very good. This is good. Real wildlife. Don't that Oh. They're so brave with those rocks. <laughs> oh, you're a bully. Oh. Animal Kingdom isn't all it's cracked up to be. So amazing, bubble and stretch. Brush my hair, always looking like a mess. Only me, I could go and do the rest. Give it a little more fit, I'll be set. And I hope that you'll miss it. I stay light now when it's stuck in my bed. Day and night, never feel my best. I know, oh well. But there's someone I'll be the same. It's day and now when I'm stuck in my bed.
Hello gang, it's been hours. I haven't really spoken too much in this vlog, I don't think. But anyway, I was gonna tell you quickly about the wildlife tour that I went on yesterday. It was so good and I really, really recommend it. Uh, Steve was our tour guide. Basically, I booked it weeks ago in Vancouver for the three of us and we just met in the main sort of Patricia Street in Jasper, but you could choose where to be picked up from. It was on a brand new bus air-conditioned he had waters available there was about 16 of us on the bus and we drove up and he knew where there would get, there would be big horned sheep mountain goats we saw um ground squirrels pikas loons like we went to all these different spots and a few stops along the way there were other sun dog buses going as well so that was fun we ended up seeing a bear at the last minute which was so cool um we saw a, we, everyone said it was a moose but i guess i could say i saw a moose but i just saw like the back end of it but it just looked like a tree so i was taking a photo and i'm showing other people being like is this the moose and they're like yes but yeah the whole like the tour we got picked up at 5 30 and we got back he dropped us at the rv park where the car was at 10 p.m like that's a big long tour so it's definitely worth the money and i really think that's something that you should do when you come to jasper because out of all the national parks it's dad sneezing so extreme classic dad sneezes am i right um jasper's known for the abundance of wildlife and you just see it everywhere like from the drive from town to the overland where i'm at right now that's our little cabin there there's just so much to see and um the smoke cleared a little bit on our drive home today which was great i would have inserted the pictures of the mountains because we actually saw um mountains and then yeah what else did we do today yeah we stopped at edith and annette lake which are kind of together and we went there for he did a presentation where he was showing skulls and fur and antlers and stuff which was in i guess the prop supply closet at sundog that was donated by parks canada to their group to show and to educate so that was great so we went to the same spot today to sit by the lake and read and relax so we did that before we drove the malane or malane i think it's malane lake road back to where we saw the bears yesterday but we just got a clearer view of the mountains which was great we didn't see any bears but we did see a beaver hoary marmot and we saw like a weasel run across the road i didn't get footage of that but i got footage of the others so yeah and i'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes but i was going to show you the little cabin so so this is our rental car you can just see the mountains there it's still so smoky um and then we go up here and we have a kitchenette cabin which is super messy right now but it's just up here 135 is our room there's no one next to us which is amazing and then this is the outlook there's the like the reception area where there's a restaurant and there's another bougie place there and yeah in the morning we saw like little squirrels running up the tree and everything which is super cute it is actually 9 30 p.m and it's so bright outside it's crazy it's still hard to get used to but um yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here because tomorrow we're just gonna be traveling back to vancouver it's gonna be such a long day if there's any clips along the way of nature and wildlife i'll add it in after i finish talking so there's so many mosquitoes but thank you guys so much for watching this jasper vlog i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye Jasper's Mountains as we're leaving. Wow. You can kind of see them over there, not really. They're also there and behind there. But yeah, there they are. Show me your